You guys better buckle up because this is gonna be a long video. Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and today I am finally filming my favorite lashes video. I decided to compile all of my favorite lashes from all different price points, and I'm also including my favorite lash glues in this video as well. So for this video, I wanna keep it as chronological as possible, so when I am talking about the brands, I wanna go in chronological order with the brand names. And I will have a full in-depth description box featuring all of the styles that I'm mentioning, as well as the videos that I I have using them as well. Now because some of you guys know me for my lash try on videos, my lash line, she's um, crying for help. So unfortunately I'm not going to be trying out all the lashes in this video, but I will be inserting pictures and videos from my previous uploads so that you guys can see what it looks like on my eyes and in different styles of looks. Also included in the description box is going to be all of my makeup details here. I did film a Instagram video on how I got this look, so if you are curious, I highly recommend going over to my Instagram. With that all being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the lash glues. Now, there have been so many lash glues that I have used throughout my time, and I feel like I've definitely pinpointed to only two, and that's going to be no other than my Kiss eyelash glue and my Shop Missé eyelash glue. Both of these are very similar but I want to go ahead and talk about these individually. Now, I feel like if you were here maybe three-ish years ago, you guys know that I had a really bad allergic reaction to the House of Lashes eyelash glue, and I actually used to use that so often. I thought at that time that lash glue was going to be my holy grail, and I've gone through so many tubs of it, but then one day, unfortunately, my lash line was literally raw. It was red. My flesh was just not having it and I just decided, okay, I'm gonna give my lash line a break. I'm not gonna be using any makeup. I was on a journey to find a drugstore alternative because $9 for an eyelash glue to me was still a little pricey. So I was like, okay, like let's bring down the price point. Let's find something that's accessible, something that is great for my sensitive eyes at the moment and something that's contact wear friendly. And I just stumbled upon the Kiss eyelash glue. It also just so happens to be cruelty free which is a huge plus it checks all of the boxes for me the first time that I use this I instantly just had like a breath of relief because it did not irritate my eyes one bit and I do associate that to be because of the aloe that's infused in this lash glue this also retails for around three dollars which is absolutely insane which is a third of the cost of the house of lashes eyelash glue and this is one of those lash glues that I just feel like is so reliable there's no latex in here there's no formaldehyde and it's just beautiful. It's cheap, it's beautiful, and it's effective. And I feel like I've worn it in so many videos, I've gone to so many amusement parks with it, and it's just never done me dirty. Like, it's just one of those lash glues that I feel like I always repurchase, I always buy, I'm always recommending it, and I've gotten a lot of you guys hooked on it as well. Now, if you are a type of person who just hates going in stores, refuses to spend even $3 on an eyelash glue, I highly recommend the Shop Missé one. Now, I do have have the black version but the clear one is just the same as the kiss lash glue now I do have a review featuring both of these um, so if you want to see that I will have it linked up above in the i cards but this lash glue here from shop Missé is essentially the same it doesn't say it's infused with aloe like the kiss one but it's still very nice for my sensitive eyelids especially when I do those lash try on videos this is super strong hold and I feel like it just never does me dirty I'm wearing it on my lash line today and I love the fact that with the black lash glue I don't have to go over my lashes with additional eyeliner it kind of just does it for me and I also should note that I always prefer the ones with the wand because it's just easier to apply I feel like the lash glues that come in the squeeze tube usually always has latex and it takes a million and a half years to dry so I just would rather get the one with the wand Let's go ahead and jump into the lash styles. Now, like I said, I am gonna go in chronological order from the brand names. So let's go ahead and start with Alter Ego. 
I did do a whole lash try on for Alter Ego, so if you want to see all the styles that they have to offer, then I highly recommend it. Now, all of their lashes are $5, and my favorite style is Flare. This is kind of like an Ardell Wispy, but more wispy. It has more of a curl to it, and I feel like the last time I wore an Ardell Wispy, it wasn't as curled as these, so I feel like if you like that eye opening, wispy look, then this is definitely perfect. The lash band is so super thin. I think out of all of the lash styles that I have to share with you guys here, this is the thinnest lash band to offer and I feel like it's inexpensive, it looks good on the eyes, it's super comfortable and you don't have to forfeit a lot of money for a great lash look. I'm going to be eating my words in this next one, but this is from ColourPop and it is the Chick Lashes. Now, if you guys recall my full face of first impressions, I said, ooh, I don't really like these, but as a matter of fact, if you pair it with the right look, it looks immaculate. Now, if you pair this with a smoky eye, it just enhances the look so much. It's more of like an all length type of eyelash. It definitely has a flare, so it starts off short and then ends really long, which is a style that I prefer but these ones they are just all length barely any volume but paired with a smoky eye because it's so intense it kind of just counterbalances each other and just completes the look altogether. As I am looking at my list of lashes that I really love, I realize that I actually don't have a lot of in-store brands to talk about today and I want to just kind of disclose that real quick because I just feel like I love supporting smaller indie brands for their lashes and I love supporting causes as well. So some of these lashes, they donate to charities and I feel like that's also really important and kind of just goes in tune with what I believe in. And so that's kind of going to be, you know, I think a downfall for some of you guys especially if you guys don't like shopping online and you like going in stores and seeing the lash itself so um, keep that in mind for this video but I just want to be upfront and honest. Eiler I think is the queen of drugstore lashes they are a little bit pricey I feel like they range from like ten dollars and up and sometimes you can find them on sale at Ulta thank god because I would not pay full price for Miss Eiler but that's fine that's on me. But the one lash from Eiler that I feel like I just keep buying and I feel like this is my 10th purchase of these lashes, these are going to be the style Marquise. Now Marquise is one of those lashes that are so natural but kind of just complement every look. This lash is going to be a little different from the lashes that I am mentioning in this video because in the lower level of the lash, it's all very short, sparse lashes, very thin lashes. And then in little chunks, you do get chunks of cluster lashes so it gives you volume it gives you length in some areas and I love the fact that now they have a three pack before they only sold them individually and the individual lash itself I believe is $11 and then the three pack is around 15 so you can get more for your money if you do get it at Ulta. Coco Lashes in the Style Carry is so pretty now if you are a fan of just very wispy but very long slightly curled lashes you'll really like these now when you do look at the eyelash itself the hairs look just very long and very intimidating but i just feel like it offers like this wispiness but also sparseness to the look where it complements everything your cut creases and smoky eyes it's one of those lashes where you just look at it and you're just like mm, these kind of look boring they kind of look a little long i just don't know but on the eyes it kind of just evolves the makeup look and just makes it so much better and i love the fact that the outer corner flare isn't too curled because i like my wings to be really straight so having a lash that also complements that straight line is a win-win I feel like my first two years of college, I specifically wore Demi G's and I'm not mad about it, honestly, truly. I feel like these just give your look so much edge and I think at the time I was really looking for like a spiky eyelash and this will definitely give it to you. It's not super long by any means, but I feel like if you have eyes like me that are just more almond shape, it kind of just flares a little bit more towards like the center and then it kind of follows suit to the outer corner. If you're looking at the eyelash itself, 
there's not much flair. Like it does start off small and then the outer corners are longer, but it's nothing like super dramatic. But I feel like if you do have a similar eye shape to me, it kind of just naturally gives that effect. And I just feel like with this style, if you just want everyone to know like you're all about business and business only, then this is definitely a style for you to make a statement in, even though it's not super long. If you're wondering about the eyelashes that I'm wearing now, it is Fifth Ave, which is another eyelash that I feel like I wore so much in around 2018. I believe this was my 2018 eyelash. Now this lash is super dramatic, especially starting from the inner corner compared to the outer corner. This has a huge amount of flair to it. And I just feel like when you do a bold eye look, it doesn't look as dramatic, but it still complements it in a way where it doesn't look like you're doing too much. So if you love a lot of length in the outer corner and you just want everyone to know like, hey, I'm gonna fly out of town tonight with my eyelashes, then these are definitely the ones to go for. But I do want to know right now that I am not the type of person to wear like those 25 millimeter lashes. I feel like I don't have that much eye space. I feel like I'm good at making an illusion that I have a lot of eyelid space. But in reality, like if I am going to wear lashes that are long, I think that these are gonna be my longest because I just don't wanna close off my naturally small eyes. Now the next style that I have recently loved from Coco Lashes is a style Gigi. Now this is actually really similar to Demi G. There's just very slight differences, but I feel like on the eyes, it's just a little bit more sparse, a little bit more wispy. You still get that little bit of spikiness in this lash, but it's not so intense just like Demi G. So if you like Demi G, but you're just like, mm, I want something a little bit more day to day, then definitely go for Gigi. And I think the reason why this is so natural is because these sections in the eyelashes are just so separate so these ones will definitely give you just like hey these are my natural eyelash maybe I got extensions in certain places in my eyelash and it doesn't necessarily look like a strip lash it's almost like you put individuals in like clusters the last Coco Lash is something that I feel like everyone is expecting me to talk about and I feel like it's because I wore it every single day of my senior year of high school. And that was when I was doing a lot of makeup tutorials. I still do a lot of makeup tutorials, but every single one of them, I swear I was using Queen Bees. And if I wasn't, I was using a Double Up Wispies from Ardell. But even yet, I just wanted to switch it up for the video and I would just naturally gravitate towards Queen Bees. Like they are just like the epitome of a wispy eyelash. I just feel like the hairs go in different directions. And I feel like with the Coco lashes, they are handmade. So some of them are more wispy and a lot more crazy than others. But for the most part, you just kind of get this natural kind of whimsical type of look. But towards the base of the eyelash, it is still pretty thick and voluminous. So you do get best of both worlds. You get length, you get volume, and then you get the wispy so if you're just the type of person to just want it all, I think Queen Bee is definitely something that I highly recommend. It's not an eyelash that I would wear on special occasions anymore. I feel like if I were to wear this now, it would be more of like a day-to-day -day basis. Lash Kitty is an indie brand that I have really enjoyed, but I haven't used it in any recent videos because the one style that I really like has been out of stock for a really long time, but it's the style Workflow. Now these are a style that's very similar to the ColourPop Chick lashes. I feel like the only difference is that this just has a little bit more volume. So that's going to be like just more of those like individual clusters. They're not like huge clusters, but they're kind of like, you know, one or two extra in a certain spot and I just feel like with that it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a dramatic effect and I love the fact that it kind of just makes me feel ready and I feel like whenever I did use those lashes I felt like my look was so complete and it kind of just gave me that extra bit of kick to my makeup look. I recently threw this pair of eyelashes out, but it's the Lash Label Halo eyelashes. Now I felt like with these, they all came to a point and I just really love the fact that it kind of just made my eyes look a little bit more animated. And I cut these pretty short to the point where they were kind of like half lashes. And I just love the amount of flare that they gave. And I love the fact that in the outer corner, it didn't flare up too much. Like it didn't curl um, 
a significant amount it kind of just went out straight so it kind of followed my natural eyeliner and how I normally do my makeup which was super nice and these are pretty affordable too I believe these are around seven dollars this brand is also located in Hawaii so if you guys do like supporting small businesses then I highly recommend checking them out I did go visit their store and let me tell you it was actually really cute and I bought a couple of lashes that I haven't tried yet but I'm really eager to try more of their styles Lily lashes are definitely going to be the most expensive lash that I'm going to be talking about in this video, but I wanted to go ahead and mention two of my favorites. Now, a lot of you guys have subscribed to me from my Lily Lashes try on video, which I am very thankful for. Now, out of that video, I feel like I have worn two to the bone. So the first one I want to talk about is Miami Flare. Now, these ones are going to be a little shorter than regular Miami's, and they're also going to have a flare. Now, I really like these because they have a lot of thickness to it and not a whole bunch of length and I know to some people that's kind of like okay so you just want all volume that's kind of weird because what's the point then you know but I feel like with these because they're so short and because of the flare I feel like it kind of just makes you look like you have lash extensions now I personally would never get lash extensions on myself because I like switching up my look and I like switching up my lash styles so I feel like lash extensions to me would be kind of a waste of money anyway so these ones will kind of give you that natural, I woke up like this kind of look. And it looks great even if you have no eye makeup on or if you have a full glam look on. The last lash that I swear by from Lily Lashes is Mykonos. I feel like everybody and their mom likes Mykonos. And I thought, you know, looking at the lash, I wasn't gonna like it. I just saw a lot of volume and I just felt like all the lashes came into a cluster. And I just truly thought, okay, with my eye shape, these are not gonna look good. But as a matter of fact, they look damn amazing on the eyes. Like, kind of just gives you like this expensive vibe. And maybe I'm just biased because these are $30 lashes. But to me, whenever I wear Mykonos, I just feel like I am a whole new person. I feel like the volume that this lash has just enhances the look. It's definitely one where you will wear on special occasions and that, you know, Know, you are pairing with a more glam look because I feel like with the natural look it's kind of overbearing because of all that volume but in the end it kind of just completes the eye look and it completes like this full glam moment and you just look put together so with this I really love wearing it with like an intense smoky eye and just a flawless glowy base I have tried every single pair of Miss A lashes on my channel for you guys and I have a pile to share with you guys. So I feel like my first love from Miss A was Brianna. I felt like these were naturally long. They still had a little bit of volume, but it wasn't anything overbearing. And I feel like with these lashes, they kind of just gave you something extra, kind of just like a little compliment to the eyeliner, especially if you were gonna wear a long wing that day. And I just love the fact that these ones are really lightweight. The band itself is really nice and lightweight. And I feel like with these, I could wear them about I want to say maybe 15, 20 times before I actually throw them out. So I feel like throughout this video, you kind of just saw a trend where I like lashes that start short and long. But Carlene is a lash where the length of the actual eyelash is consistent throughout the whole entire thing. And on the eyes, I didn't expect myself to like it, but this lash has a visible double layer. So if you do look to the side, you can see those layers. So in a sense, it kind of just looks a little bit more natural. You kind of are getting that like this is kind of like a lash extension type of vibe. Gaia is very similar to Coco Lashes Carry, but I feel like Gaia is just a little bit more natural. If you compare the two, you can see very slight differences, and I feel like these lashes are a little bit more spaced out. I feel like whenever I wear these, whenever I travel with them, I always re-wear these, even though I usually pack three lashes on a trip. I'm always gravitated to Gaia again and again and again because it just has that bit of volume to it. It also has a very slight light cluster effect throughout the lash. So it gives you a little bit more volume in some areas. And I just love the length. I think Carrie and Gaia have the same length. I don't like something super long, but this really just complements everything. And it complements cut creases, it complements smoky eyes. And I think that's the reason why I like it because it's just so versatile with all of the looks that I do. If you love Lily Lashes Mykonos like I do, but you're just like, you know what? I really don't have $30 to spend on an eyelash right now. Harper 
is literally like the closest alternative to Mykonos that you could probably get. Now I feel like these are not like an exact dupe, they are a very close alternative, but you are saving $28 at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So it is really close in style, it's really close in length, and I just feel like, you know, if you were just in a pinch, you still love that type of look, then, you know, this won't hurt your bank account and it won't hurt the look either. So I had already told you that Gaia is a little sister to Carrie. Now an even littler sister to Gaia is Jackie. Now Jackie is going to be a little bit more dispersed, a little bit more sparse, still going to start off fairly short and then end, you know, not too long, but still give you a little bit of length in the end. So with these ones, instead of those little slivers of volume throughout the lashes, it kind of just illuminates that and kind of just makes it all kind of, I don't want to say monotone because I feel like that has a negative connotation, but it kind of just makes it all one level and it kind of just makes your look a little bit more natural in the end. If you guys watch my girl Jen makes up on YouTube or if you follow her on Instagram, I love her so much and she actually really likes Jean from Miss A and I feel like whenever I watch her video she's always using this style and when I actually initially tried these lashes I got a defected one so I didn't like them. So when I was watching her videos I was like you know what maybe I should just buy it again and give it a second chance and I bought it again and soon to realize Realize I am in love. I'm gonna just have Carrie as like my baseline pretty much as like my favorite lash style but those two lashes are interchangeable and there has been a point where I thought I was wearing Coco lashes but then I was wearing Miss A and then there was a point where I was wearing the Coco lashes but then I thought that I was wearing Jean. Jean is an affordable option if you don't want to spend $7 on Coco lashes. If you want to see it on Jen's eyes, she wears it a lot in her videos, so don't be afraid to go check her out and see her content because she is so amazing and so talented. Out of all the lashes that I'm talking about in this video, Melissa is my most natural lash and I do not wear short lashes. I definitely wear medium to long, for my eyes at least, medium to long. This is the shortest that I'll go for a lash. And this style is a little weird because it's more of a rounded shape. So it starts off small, in the middle it's long, and then it fades back down to small in the outer corner. But because my eyes are naturally small, I kind of nip off the ends of the lash anyway, so then it looks more of like a flare the end. So these lashes are really nice because it's still very wispy but it's also still in clusters. It kind of just does the bare minimum of giving you length and giving you volume because of the clusters and because of the wispiness. The last lash from Miss A that I want to talk about is Tracy. Now this is a very complex lash style because it flares out normally like a regular eyelash straight out but in the outer corner it flares out in a diagonal so then your lashes then crisscross and it kind of just gives you so much depth and so much complexity in your lashes but still remains fairly natural glam. It's kind of strange but I'm living for it. Now this is another flared lash style and I feel like with this it really just complements the eye look and I feel like because of that crisscross in the lash it just makes it just look like you have so much volume but without doing too much with like the clusters that I was talking about in this video. And very quickly, I want to mention that I am a Shop Miss A affiliate, so if you do want to help support me and my links, they are always in the description box down below. It's always encouraged, it's never forced, I'm not shoving it down your throat, but it's just there for your convenience. Finally, let's go ahead and talk about my final eyelash. This is by an indie brand called Oh Honey, and I have the style Honey's Fave. Now, this brand in particular is one that I love supporting because they are so interactive with their followers, and I always find them to be like the queen of wispy lashes. No matter what style preference you like, no matter what length you like, if you love wispy lashes, this lash brand is the one to look into and their lash styles are not even that expensive. Now Honey's Fave is going to be their bestseller and this is a very interesting eyelash because when you look at it, it kind of looks like a flat lash with barely any curl but then once you place it on the eyes, it really lifts up towards the outer corner. So in like the start of the lash, it kind of looks more natural, very flat but then in the outer corner it really just 
makes you look like you have a cat eye, which is always my favorite look. And because of the wispiness, it does look a little bit more natural, but because there's so much volume in these lashes, it does look glam. So I love the fact that this is inexpensive. It's an indie brand and it just continues to slay the game. I also have their eyelash glue, but I haven't gotten around to use it yet because I'm trying to use up my products before I go into anything new. And just like that, you guys, we are completed with all of my favorite lash styles and lash glue. I hope that you guys all found it helpful. And in the description box, I will be linking some of the videos that I have featuring these lashes because I know it's going to be helpful for you to see how it looks in an overall look. So I hope you guys found this video helpful again, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Thank you.